All right, everybody, what's going on? This is Hobby God, and we got another tutorial Tuesday for y'all. Um, sorry I didn't get to do a tutorial last Tuesday. A lot of stuff came up, so let's get that one. But today, we're going to go over some, uh, some different snap elements. So snap, as in, like, snap, snapping your fingers. I posted up a GIF to the Throwers Reddit a few days ago, and I got some questions about it, so figured I'd answer some I guess. Uh, I'm using the one drop cabal for this and this isn't really like a trick it's more like an element so I'm going to teach you the basics of it and I'm going to show you two different tricks with the, the snap triangle and snap slack trapeze if I can hit it because it's windy as hell out here. Um, anyway for the snap what you want to do trapeze or whatever you want it's not really a snap it's more of a flick so you know, it's just like a snap of your fingers, but when you do this, you want to have your thumb under it so that when you snap, you can get that string motion going, just like that. So when you do it, make sure your thumb's under, and then you're basically just flicking it up, flicking it up with your thumb, just like that. So that's the basic movement with it. One other tip I'm going to give is when I do the tricks with the trapeze, if I'm in a normal trapeze here, I like to have my throw hand a little bit out in front of me it just makes it a little bit easier for me to get the string where I want it to go. But you can play around with it. It's nothing really set in stone. So with that said, I'm sure there's a lot of elements. I'm just going to teach you two basic ones that I've been messing around with. Um, the first one, we'll go with snap triangle. So you're going to want to get into a trapeze. Get your fingers ready just like this for the snap. You're going to want to pinch these two fingers together and get your thumb in here just like this. You don't want too much slack, so you want to bring your hands a little bit closer together, but not like this. You want it to just be like a little bit. And then what you're going to do, you're going to snap, and when it gets there, you're going to catch it. So you're basically just doing this. You're basically just doing that, but it looks really flashy. So let's see if I can hit it. So just like that. And I mean, it's going to be hard at first, but you just need to get the practice. You're going to want to make a little bit of slack, probably like right here. Flick it in, and what you're going to do, you're going to come just like this and you're going to try and grab it in. So one more time, hand out and out in front, snap, pull. Um, so yeah, it'll, t it'll take some time to get it smooth, but it's not too bad. And this is just a fun one that I've been doing. It's just a slack trapeze, just like that, but with a snap. So let's see if I can hit it. Oh, almost. Alright, one more try. Well, you get the idea. You can use it for any for a bunch of different tricks. So, let's see. There we go. So, that's basically it. It's just the exact same. Oh, and my yo-yo nodded. But it's basically the exact same idea as a snap triangle, but you're using the snap instead of throwing the slack over for slack trapeze. So, that's basically it. It's a really fun element. I'm sure there's a bunch of other different stuff that you can come up with it. Um, I'm sure you could do, if you can do it with like a slack trapeze, I'm sure you could do like a green triangle type thing with it. And if I end up figuring it out, I'll definitely post another tutorial Tuesday for that. So this is Hobby God. You learned how to do snap triangle, which looks like this, and snap slack trapeze, which looks like that. So if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.